Hey guys, Malcolm here, Survival Know How, and today we're taking a look at Battle Box Mission number 16. This box is focused on a skill that I am willing to bet many of you are lacking in, and that is land navigation. So you're going to want to stay tuned. <laughs> So every single year you always hear these tragic stories about hunters and hikers who go off uh, into the woods and they get lost, okay? They do not have good land navigation skills and unfortunately a lot of these guys end up dying out in the woods. So I'm not exaggerating when I tell you that some basic land navigation skills absolutely can save your life one day. And honestly guys, I'll be the first one to admit that I do not have the strongest land navigation skills. I know the basics, I got the basic principles down. but like land navigation, you can go really deep into this whole little niche, right? There's a lot that you can learn about land navigation. But I'll tell you what, if you guys get this box and you actually make an effort to learn what they're trying to teach you with this box, man, you, you'll be good to go. All right, so let's jump right in. We're gonna start with the basic box and the first item is the Coulter Co. Stargazer Bandana. So that is this guy. I love this product. I love this idea. So if you remember a few boxes ago, they gave us a bandana that was full of knots, right? And that's, that's a great idea. Uh, so this one is full of different, uh, it's like a star map, pretty much, to help you navigate uh, at night. All right, check that out. So as you can see, this is a constellation map, um, and it has kind of a compass going around here. So if you find these constellations, uh, and then you can pretty much figure out which way is north, south, east, west. And as you know, I'm always recommending that you should have a uh, bandana with you when you go out in the woods, especially in your bug out bag. You know, these can be used for first aid, for uh, filtrating water, for keeping yourself cool, right? A lot of uses for a bandana. Dave Canterbury, he has the 10 C's of survival. This is one of the 10 C's is, is cotton, right? He recommends having a cotton bandana just because they're so versatile. So if you're gonna have a bandana, you know, don't just go get a black or a red bandana, you know, you might as well have a dual purpose with a bandana and get one of these navigational stargazer bandanas. And also get the uh, the knot bandana that they had in the previous battle box. That one was pretty neat too. So there you go, this is the first item in the basic box. All right, so next up we have the Brunton True Arc 3 with Global Needle. So that is this compass. All right, so this is an item that everybody should have in their bug out bag. And really, if you're going out camping, hiking, hunting, you really want to have a compass as well, just in case you, you get off track a little bit, just to find your way back. So this looks like a very, uh, it's a basic compass, right? But it has all the basic features that a good solid compass should have. So let's open this up, take a closer look. Oh my God, come on, man. Really? What the fuck, man? All right, so we open it up. It comes with a little pamphlet in here to kind of get you started. Uh, this will teach you how to use your true arc compass. Very useful. You get your compass here with a clear plastic so you can lay it on top of your map. And it comes with a lanyard so you can keep this wrapped around your neck if you wanted to. All right, so this is the Brunton True Arc 3 Global Needle. So next up, we have an item from Wazoo Survival who we've seen several times in these battle boxes. And this is a Ranger Bead DIY kit. I'm really excited about this one. So what Ranger Beads are is um, they attach with a little carabiner. You kind of keep them right here in your chest. And it's a way of keeping track of distances that you walk. So this comes with all the components that you need right here, as well as some detailed instructions of how to assemble it and really how to use your Ranger Beads. So this is a really cool concept. So after you assemble your Ranger Beads, the first thing you want to do is figure out how many steps it takes you to go 100 meters. Okay, after you have that number in your head of how many steps that takes, as you're walking through the woods, you start counting your steps. And after every time you get to that, that number that you've walked 100 meters, you slide one of these beads down. And you continue doing that every 100 meters until all nine beads in the bottom are slid down and that'll equal 1,000 uh, meters which is equivalent to one kilometer. So every time you do all nine of these beads, a thousand meters, you slide one of these beads on top down and then you reset the bottom beads and you start over again counting your steps. So it's a really cool way of measuring your distance and measuring your distance is something that you're going to need to know when you're navigating by maps. So really neat, I'm really interested in building this kit and really trying this out. So this is the Ranger Bead Kit by Wazoo Survival. 
So next up we have a uh, pamphlet by Dave Canterbury. And this is the basic and primitive navigation, right? So I've talked about Dave Canterbury a bunch. I've actually talked about this pamphlet before. He wrote uh, Bushcraft 101 and Advanced Bushcraft. He's, he's got a YouTube channel. He's got the Pathfinder School of Survival. And on his website uh, for the Pathfinder School of Survival, he sells these little pamphlets. Now, you may remember that I'm always talking about how I think in everybody's bug out bag, they should have the, um, the, uh, the SAS Military Survival Guide, right? Now, an alternative to that is buying Dave Canterbury's little pamphlets. So this one is all about navigation. He has another pamphlet like this all about um, shelters. He had no another one about water purification, another one about fire starting, right? So each of these uh, is like collectively everything that you really need to know, and you can buy each individual one. So this one is his land navigation pamphlet. It's waterproof, it's very durable, and it's full of just a lot of tips and a lot of basic knowledge of how to navigate uh, primitively as well as, as how to navigate using um, a compass and map. So this is awesome that BattleBox is hooking us up with the navigation one. I think there's like four or five other ones that you can buy to complete this whole kit. Very cool, I'm a big Dave Canterbury fan, so thumbs up to BattleBox for this. So next up, BattleBox is laying some knowledge on us with the U.S. Army Guide to Map Reading and Navigation. So if you remember I was saying, you can go really deep into land nav, like you can really geek out on this stuff. And I mean, this just kind of shows you like how deep into land nav you can go. Uh, so I've actually taken a land nav course from the Army years ago, and I'm not going to lie guys, I've forgotten pretty much everything that I've learned in that course. Land nav is really, it's kind of like a use or lose type deal, like it's so intricate that you need to really refresh yourself, you need to practice this stuff to keep it fresh and current in your mind. Uh, I have not been doing that. I'm going to bet a lot of people don't. But this will help you out. Uh, it's nice and compact. You can throw this in your backpack. So next time you go hiking, you can bring your compass, you can bring your map, and you can kind of practice your land navigation skills. Bring your ranger beads as well. Get familiar with those. It's a very cool U.S. Army Guide to Map Reading and Navigation. So next up we have the UTM Navigation Reference Cards by MapTools.com. So inside you'll find a set of these little cards. Uh, and each of these cards have a little hole in the corner and you have a little ring to attach them on. These are like hard plastic cards. And these are just full of all kinds of uh, geeky, useful stuff. I uh, got there's even some math on here. So this, again, man, you can go really deep into land nav, uh, but these are nice compact cards. I like that you can attach them, uh, they're light, you can throw them in your backpack, no problem. This is really something that I really need to practice some more, but these are the uh, some reference cards from maptools.com. And we also have a bonus thing from maptools.com, and that is inside this secret envelope here. Very excited. So if we open this up, we get a reference map, okay? So this is a kind of a reference topographical map for you to practice using these tools. And on the back, it lays some more knowledge on you uh, about the difference between true north, magnetic north, grid north, converting between the different north references. Got this map here. Um, and it's got a, uh, what is this, a protractor, right? That's what that's called, I think. Coordinate scale and protractor for you to use on your reference map. And it's got some even more knowledge here and how to use your new protractor. Very cool. If you guys want to find out more about this stuff, all these things here came from maptools.com. So that's it for the basic box. This month's basic box it comes out to a $70 value. Very nice. So you got these uh, reference cards from maptools.com. We have the U.S. Army Land Nav book. Uh, all kinds of good stuff in there. We have the, uh, this is the Burton True Arc Global Needle right here with a lanyard, nice. We have this cotton bandana with the uh, star chart. I'm very excited about this. This is absolutely going in my bug out bag uh, or coming with me next time I go camping. Very excited about this one. We have the, uh, the Ranger Bee Kit by Wazoo Survival. I'm also very excited about this. This is an awesome concept. Uh, Wazoo Survival, they make a lot of really, really innovative and really neat uh, outdoor stuff. And lastly, we have the Navigation Pamphlet by Dave Canterbury. You guys know I'm a big fan of him. He's got a YouTube channel. It's all right. But uh, he's got a cool website, um, pathfinderschoolllc.com. Go check him out and go check out his other reference uh, pamphlets that he has about survival.
All right, so next up we have a Northern Hemisphere Mirror Compass by Sunto, S-U-U-N-T-O, I don't know. But the first compass we got was a very basic, very simple compass. This is a much more uh, advanced, has a lot more bells and whistles to it. So in addition to you having just your compass, you also have a mirror here for signaling. Um, you have a protractor and kind of a scale chart right here built into your compass. This guy is also, uh, it floats in the water. Very nice. And supposedly it's supposed to be like super accurate. It also comes with a lanyard, and when I say it comes with more bells and whistles, I mean it literally comes with bells and whistles. Alright, so that is the Sunto, I don't know how to pronounce that, uh, Northern Hemisphere Compass. And the other item in the advanced box is the Survival Summit Land Navigation DVD. So if you're not necessarily a book learner, right, I'm really not. I sometimes have a hard time learning from reading books. This is more of a visual method of teaching you how to navigate using your compass, using your uh, protractor, using your topographical map. This guy, he'll hook you up. You can actually watch him. The only problem with this is it's a DVD, so you can't really bring it out to the field. So, you know, you can learn from this in your comfort of your home and bring the uh, all this other reference material with you when you actually go out in the wilderness. So that's it for the advanced box. We have the uh, Land Nav DVD and we have the Sunto, Santo, Santu, I don't know. Uh, the more advanced compass. So the advanced box comes to a $128 value this month. So moving on to the pro box, we have the Barska Colorado 10 by 42 binoculars. Very, very cool. So when you're navigating, you know, you often are looking for different landmarks, mountain peaks, streams, whatnot. Uh, so this will really come in handy there. And if, you know, you get lost, you also want some binoculars to help, uh, help you out, find your way back home. Come on, there we go. So these look like some really high quality binoculars here. These are a $70 pair of binoculars. Feels very sturdy in your hands, very high quality. I love these caps that they, they stay right there. You don't have to worry about losing them. Come with their own carrying case. So these come with 10X magnification, which is really nice. Uh, they're also waterproof and shock absorbent. And they have a really nice rubber coating on the outside. And that kind of helps with that shock, shock absorbency. Uh, and they just feel really great in your hand. Get some little thumb grips here. Yeah, they just feel like some really high quality binoculars. Um, I love these lens caps here. They are waterproof as well as fog proof. So you really don't have to worry about any moisture at all getting inside these lenses, which is super nice. I've had foggy binoculars before and they are terrible. All right, so these are the Barska Colorado 10X magnification waterproof binoculars with a carrying case. All right guys, moving on to the Pro Plus for the knife of the month. This month's knife is a behemoth. Check out this thing. So this is the Sniper's Blade Works SOF Chopper. All right, so this is designed for trailblazing, okay? So you're navigating through the woods or maybe some thick jungle, you got some brush in your way, you gotta hack your way out of there. You know, this thing is uh, like designed for chopping, okay? You see you have almost a quarter inch of a spine here and that gives you a very extreme taper right here from the spine down to the, the blade which is you know, designed just for like splitting wood pretty much or splitting branches. So this blade also has some weight to it. It comes in at a little over 20 ounces and you can feel it has some heft to it. So this blade is made out of 1075 carbon steel. Uh, it's full tang, obviously, as you can see here, it's got uh, this black traction coating on it, which I really like. I like the look of that. And then it's got like a, a satin finish here on the spine and going down to the handle to give it kind of a nice shine. So for whatever reason, this just reminds me of like a lawnmower blade. This this look, it makes me think that they took a lawnmower blade and then they kind of shaved it down and strapped a handle onto it. Like that is just how meaty this thing is. So the overall length is 15 and a quarter with the blade length being almost nine and a quarter inches. So a very, very long blade here. So the handle is made out of Mercada and it has a very uh, extreme, some extreme contours to it to really fit your hand very well. It has a nice thumb grip here, a little finger well there. Now, I will say the only criticism, only negative I can find about this uh, blade is really this handle is it's very smooth. There's not much texture in it. Um, so, you know, if you're going crazy and going to town, 
I, I would be a little concerned that it might slide a little bit in your hand. I don't think it's going to fly out of your hand because of these extreme contours, but I, I would actually like if it had a little bit more texture to the handle. Now I know a lot of people, uh, what you can do is you can like take a lighter and heat up a wire and just kind of add some texture by melting the uh, handle just a little bit. There's other ways you can add texture to the handle. Uh, yeah, you, you know, you might want to look into that if you get this blade. But other than that, uh, this is just a, a beast of a blade. This is practically a, a miniature machete right here. Okay, and like I said, this is just meant for just trailblazing. Going through some thick, uh, thick jungle, some thick, dense forest, and just hacking your way through it. So this blade is made in El Salvador by Sniper Blade Works. That's the name of the company. They got their little logo right there. And it also comes with a nylon sheath here. And it has a, uh, a pocket right here if you want to add uh, an extra knife to the sheath. It has a strap here to go around the handle so it can come out. And have, you have your belt loop here as well as a lanyard down here that you can actually attach uh, to the handle if you want it to. So there you go guys. This is the Sniper Blade Works SOF Chopper. And this is a $145 knife. So that is it for this month's box. The entire box comes in at $343 value. Uh, to get the Pro Plus, it costs you $150 a month to get that subscription. I'll have links to all of these items down in the description below if you want to find out more about these. If you guys like what you see and you're thinking about getting your own battle box, I can never say enough good stuff about them. They always have the highest quality of gear. I'll have a link down to their website in the description below. If you guys want to check out some of my other videos, I'll have links here and here to some of my favorite battle boxes we've gotten so far. And over there, I'll have a link to a pocket box. A pocket box is kind of another monthly subscription box, but it's not as focused on gear as battle boxes. Rather, it's focused on like nature and getting you off the couch and teaching you uh, natural survival skills. It's kind of interesting. So you can check them out in that video over there. And remember guys, knowledge weighs nothing. So long. This box is focused on a skill that I'm willing to bet many of you are very weak end. Weak end, weak in, weak in. So I am not exaggerating when I tell you that land navigation. Uh, so I am not. So I am not exaggerating when I tell you land navigation skills. Blah, 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 blah. So I am not nav. Blah, blah, blah. <coughs> ah. All right, so so moving on to the Pro Plus for the knife in the month. This knife month. Bleh.